Top Knot is essentially a dip primarily made with olives, different types of olives, olives, whichever ones you like, that you, that you process to a certain degree, however you like, uh, with garlic, onions, uh, red pepper flakes, a ancho little anchovy if you would like, olive oil, garlic, uh, pimentos or red, roasted red peppers. It's really up to you. You want the flavors to sort of be, be compatible, but uh, pretty much anything goes. So first, we're going to make the non-spicy tapenade because we're going to do both in the cuisinart. We're going to make the big one first. I'm going to make the big one, the non-spicy one, because you know spicy is a little tricky with some people, and uh, you don't want to you don't want to sort of impose spicy food on them if you don't have to. The olives obviously are the chunkiest. So the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to process the olives. Not totally, but partially. And I'm going to pulse them to make sure I don't get carried away. The beauty of tapenade is that you put in what you want. I'll give you a guide. You know, this many olives, and then you can add a little of this, a little of that. And you, you, you go with that. You got to judge what you like and the combinations you think would be good. And I promise you, you're going to love your tapenade. So I have the uh, semi-processed olives, and I have the pine nuts and the raisins, and what's left to put in this, in the processor, is the garlic and some shallot. And looking around at my table, I think I'm going to just leave it at that. So before I put the shallots and garlic in, I'm going to process, just process this just a little bit more. I'm going to use half the uh, uh, shallots in each bowl. Likewise, the garlic. Actually, this one I'm going to put a little less garlic in. And one other thing I forgot to add is a little olive oil. So we're going to add some olive oil. You don't need too much because the olives are wet. And we're going to do the final process to the consistency that I that I like. Put in some. I'm going to stir my grated cheese. And I don't know. That's about two, two tablespoons. Remember, the olives are salty. Forget the salt, by the way. Sometimes I lose my mind with salt. The olives are salty, the cheese are salty, we don't need to add salt to that. And here is the purple top knot. Ideally, you want to make the top knot uh, several hours in advance, if not a day in advance. And that benefits you as well because uh, if you're having a dinner party, you do something like the top knot the day in advance, and you only have to worry about the bread the same day, uh, not both items.